visual almanac. It's a resource of images and sounds. This is Walter Cronkite. Use your Macintosh computer to see things from other points of view. At different times, in different places, in a new light. Then create your own presentations and bring the world into your classroom. Channel 1, Channel 2. Channel 2 has library sounds, scenes from U.S. history in maps and pictures. These still images are playing at 30 frames per second. They're meant to be seen one frame at a time. But isn't it fun to see how much you can recognize at this rate? All the California missions from San Diego to Sonoma. Western settlement and Native Americans. The Civil War. The American West. Highlights of the 20th century. The Wright Brothers, 1903. Armistice, 1917. The Russian Revolution. Lenin addresses the Bolsheviks. The 20s. Charles Lindbergh flies to Paris. The stock market crashes. The 30s. The Hindenburg explodes. The 40s. World War II ends with the atomic bomb. In India, Gandhi is assassinated. The 50s, the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II and the salt vaccine. The civil rights movement begins in Little Rock. The 60s, the British invasion, the Beatles, a US landing on the moon. That's one small step for man, one the 70s, a time of campus unrest and the anti-war movement. Nixon's visit to the People's Republic of China. The 80s, I Geraldine Ferraro breaks new frontiers for women in politics. Your nomination for Vice President of the United States. If we can put this tremendous machine of ours, which has made this victory possible, to work for peace, we can look forward to the greatest age in the history of mankind. We are not going to get involved militarily in any way on the island of Formosa. Russia will never own China. I know we'll remain free. I believe that we must try to limit the war to Korea for these vital reasons, to make sure that the precious lives of our fighting men are not wasted, to see that the security of our country and the free world is not needlessly jeopardized, and to prevent a third world war. Under no circumstances must Formosa fall under communist control. The whole idea of going it alone is the opposite of everything we have stood for since World War II. Our nation must stand as a solid rock in a storm-tossed world. Keeping in mind that if we lose into China, Mr. Jenkins, we will lose the Pacific and we'll be an island in a communist sea. At long last, have you left no sense of reason? The Soviet Union has surrounded itself with the captive and sullen nation. The Hungarian uprising reveals the depth and intensity of the patriotic longing for liberty that still burns within these countries. The Russians, under a 
uh, a dictatorial society where they had some of the finest scientists in the world that for many years been working on this, apparently, from what they say. They have put one small ball in the air. My scientific advisors place this problem above all other immediate tasks of producing missiles, of developing new techniques in the armed services. We need science. Khrushchev predicted that our children in the United the Cold States, War. our grandchildren, the would live under that communism. The term that describes the post-war era, this to me in our talks last nations night. could no longer rush into a traditional hot war with armies and weapons, but fought the instead with given to a and flight of an unarmed, non-military plan. In this collection, see some of the major events and hear the words of some of the principal players in the Cold War. Nikita Khrushchev. And communism has been steadily advancing until it now rests 90 miles from this city of Miami. I say that Richard our Nixon. goal must be to quarantine the Castro regime in the Americas. I wish President I could say President Eisenhower's farewell address. That a lasting peace is in sight. Happily, I can say that war has been avoided. Africa shall UN never be the scene Adlai of any war speaks on cold the African independence movement. I wish to assure the members President of this organization Kennedy's and the people of, State, of Southeast Asia Dean Rust. that the United States will live up to these responsibilities. The American Kennedy people explains the Bay of Pigs invasion. About Iron Turk, Kurt, and tanks and planes less than 90 miles from their shore. The first man in space, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. The East Germans bomb break through the Berlin Wall. We each of us gave to West Berlin in time of peace will not be broken in time of danger. I welcome Press Secretary Khrushchev Pierre Salinger with Kennedy's statement on the Cuban Missile Crisis. Stop building bases in Cuba. The logical place a to partial begin nuclear test ban treaty is, is a signed. treaty assuring the end of nuclear tests of all kinds. I believe that this nation President should Kennedy requests funds for space exploration. Before this decade is out, of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind the first American or more important the for the long-range exploration Wren. of space. And none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. What's our campaign slogan, Sissy? Happy days are here again. Good, that's right. Pray to him now for the 
vision to see our way clearly. To see the way that leads to a better life for ourselves and for all our fellow men. To the achievement of his will to peace on earth. I have seen war on land and sea. I have seen blood running from the wounded. I have seen men coughing out their gasped lungs. I have seen the dead in the mud. I have seen cities destroyed. I have seen 200 limping, exhausted men come out of line. The survivors of a regiment of 1,000 that went forward 48 hours before. I have seen children starving. I have seen the agony of mothers and wives. I hate war. Kennedy girl, Eunice Lepp, 16, and Rosemary, 19. Daughters of Ambassador and Mrs. Kennedy are sailing to be presented at court. The young man in the case is Brother Jack, who will be going over to London in June. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Jack. Hello, Jack.
I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. A day in the life of Japan, America, and the Soviet Union. This is a collection of photographs from the United Nations of people from many different cultures around the world. Day in Rio. The time lapse view of a marketplace in Rio de Janeiro begins at 8.30 in the morning and continues until everything is carted away at 3.15 in the afternoon. One picture has been taken every few seconds. <laughs> Here are some close-up views of the marketplace on the same day. day at Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro. One picture every minute from dawn to dusk.
Bolivia. Weaving is one of the most important activities of the Aymara and Quechua cultures. For thousands of years, textiles have served utilitarian, social, and ceremonial functions, as they still do today. Textiles served many functions for the ancient Indian societies, from the basic need to clothe the body in the cold, mountainous climate, to the expression of personal status and prestige. In a wide variety of ceremonies, textiles were offered, worn, exchanged, and burned in sacrifice. Bolivian weavings are noted for their complex warp and intricate patterning. The weaver uses her fingers or a sharpened llama bone, called a machunya, to pick up the yarns. After each row of weft yarn passes through the warps, the weaver vigorously beats it down, creating a dense, tightly woven fabric. Bolivian textiles are world-renowned for these qualities.
Check it out. Almost. Oh, so close. No sweat. It's cool. Great. Terrific. All right. Oh, no. Well, how does that work? I don't believe it. Great. Great. Terrific. It's terrific. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not again. Wow. How does that work? Ich spiele nicht mehr.